Hey guys, we got a great cut for you this week. We're cutting a beautiful Brazilian opal. This thing is absolutely mesmerizing. Come check us out. It's going to be a great cut. Hello everyone, it's Robert from Global Prospecting. Welcome to our channel. And today we're cutting this beautiful Brazilian opal. And what we do on this channel is we cut opals from all around the world. And then we share the cuts with you guys. Today we're starting on the 220 wheel. And we're going to get started. This opal is absolutely stunning. You can see all the reds, greens, yellows, blues. And I'm not sure. We're going to try for a double-sided stone. Um, but we'll see what the opal does. And as we go around it, um, we're going to try to get it shaped into an oval. And I think the, uh, the natural shape of this stone will be able to get an oval out of it. And we'll, we'll, we'll uh, work it down to a rub and then we'll uh, get our final shape in here. Let's weigh her in before we cut it. So we're using the Tanita model 1210N. So we're going to weigh her in at 13.55carats。I haven't cut a ton of the Brazilian opals, so every opal has its unique challenges. Um, this one kind of has some kind of grainy, so we'll see how that plays out as we cut the opal. You can see how kind of grainy it is. So I don't know how those divots are going to play into the
we moved on to the 280 wheel here. You can see all the beautiful blues, greens, yellows. Amazing color in the opal. And uh, we'll refine our shape here. And we'll get our dome. Our dome set on the opal. And put a nice little uh, setting edge on it. So we'll start rolling our dome on. And if anybody's looking for opal rough to cut, you can go to our website at www.global-prospecting.com and there we have a wide range of opal rough for cutting and we also have specimen grade opals there for collectors. So come check us out at global-prospecting.com. Wow, look at the colors in that. Beautiful reds. Looks like we might have an issue in the center here, so we're gonna have to go down. Um, as we roll our dome, we'll try to move to the center and get that little bit of sand that's left in there out. And I know these Brazilian opals really pop when they're, uh, once you get a good polish on them. So this stone's gonna be unbelievable, I can already tell. So coming up in the next couple of weeks, we get a couple of beautiful Australian opals that we're gonna carve. Um, so those videos will be coming out. Uh, we're working on those as we speak. So those should be pretty good. We got some beautiful black um, Australian opals that uh, we've been carving and videoing. So those should be pretty good videos. she's starting to look good I think we're gonna move over to the 600 wheel I should take the rest of that sand out we moved over to the 600 wheel to the 1200 wheel.
Now to the 3000 wheel. And now to the 14,000 wheel before we move on to the cerium oxide on a belt polish pad. And now we're polishing her up and we're using a felt polishing pad infused with cerium oxide and today's video we're going to be doing both sides so right after this we're going to dock her up um, and do the other side. Let's get her on the stick. See how this other side comes out. Hey guys, the new Opal Attic t-shirts just dropped. Check these out. And if you want to buy one directly from us, just send us an email to globalprospected1 at gmail.com and we'll send you an e invoice to your PayPal account. Just give us your PayPal account email and uh, they're $19.99 plus shipping. But you can see these things are uh, great quality and uh, or you can get them in our spring store down below. Uh, they're a little bit more in our spring store, but directly from us, you can get them cheaper. For the holidays, guys, get your loved ones some Opal Attic t-shirts. So we'll refine our shape on the 280 wheel here. I'm interested to see how this one comes out this side. It's, uh, it's pretty pitted. And it looks like there's some uh, brownish opal there. So I don't want to go down too deep. And then it looks like we have a... Uh, a little bit of a indentation or a, kind of a split in the opal between the layers. But we'll see how she comes out. Nice reds on this side. Then we'll roll our dome. Get, get down a little bit farther here to see what we got. You can see the brown kind of coming up on that one side. And here we are at Mineral Mine. And this is a beautiful crystal opal from Ethiopia. Look at that beautiful crystal. We have many, many display specimens like this available on our site. You can see how beautiful it is. Look at the colors in that. This thing's huge. It's so big. About 350 carats. Look at the reds in that. 
beautiful display space. So let's get her spinned up here. And then we'll see what she looks like after we polish her up. Back to the cerium oxide. Use the self-polishing pad and use the cerium oxide. And the final weight. Five point nine seven carats. And here's the completed opal. Look at those beautiful colors. Amazing crystal opal. Look at the yellows and the blues. What a beautiful opal. And the back side of the opal didn't come out quite exactly like we wanted it to. Uh, so we didn't get our double sided stone. I was going to go down to the next layer, but I think it would have made the stone too thin. But uh, who knows what we'll do in the future with this stone. You can see on this side it's pretty, pretty pitted. Um, but overall the, the opal looks great. I'm happy with it. You can see all the red, yellows. It's pretty much got every color under the rainbow. If you're looking for a quicker way to get to our channel, you can go to letscutopal.com. And we have lives every Thursday, so you can check out our lives every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we put out a video every other Thursday, and we try to put out a video every Saturday uh, during our live week. Thanks for watching everyone. We appreciate everybody coming and if you can leave a comment in the comment section of the video it really helps us out and we'd appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel uh, please consider subscribing. We'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next Thursday. We got a good one next Thursday.